ready this morning. Already. What are they up to? Games night. Okay. Playing snakes and ladders. Um Knots and crosses on the wall. Really? Not impressed. Look at Spud hanging out there. Oh, look at them playing Connect Four. Magic's on the front here. So you got the clue? Yeah. Good morning, Willa. More chocolate. Oh, careful. A ring. Cool. Another ring. Moment! Oi! Okay, puppy cat, I'll get your breakfast in a minute. They're cool. What's on them? Hey, candy cane. Santa, Santa. reindeer, bow, Christmas tree. No, it's just a, just a stone. Is it too big? I'll wear if my other rings on top of it. Ah, cool. They might adjust. I'm going to wear put all of them on once. <laughs> That'll be smart. Five gold rings. Six. Six gold rings. <laughs> Oh, puppy cat's hungry. I'm not going to share it for it. <laughs> What's the the clue? If there's dashes, it's a karaoke, and if not, it's not. It's a karaoke. I will do that later. <laughs> cool. Do. I'm definitely keeping all these ones for my friends. <laughs> Morning. I'll take them off for P. Yeah. What is all that noise about? Are you hungry? Yeah, this dish is completely empty. Oh, I'm a hungry boy. Is it Advent calendar time? Hugo. Hugo. Do you want your Advent calendar? Go in there. today missies. <laughs> Is Lomond already out there waiting for you? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I hope you're all well. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. And yes, the Naughty Elves were having a games night in here last night. They've been playing Knots and Crosses on my wall. The babies have been playing Connect Four. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. Apologise if I'm looking a bit tired. Um, Things didn't go great last night. Unfortunately, I said in the vlog that Abby wasn't feeling well and she's really not well. So she phoned the Out of Hours NHS 24 about six o'clock. She's got a really sore mouth and I was worried that her tongue was maybe infected with the piercing. But her gums are really sore as well. So she phoned NHS 24 and they had said that they were going to get the doctor to phone her about her tongue in case... The, it was an infection and the, the out of our dental were going to phone her about her gums. So that was six o'clock. She was on the phone for about 45 minutes initially before she was told she would get a phone back. The football was on, so I went to my bed about half past seven, edited the vlog and I fell asleep about nine o'clock. And then Abby woke me up at quarter past ten to say that she had an out of hours appointment with a GP at 20 past 11. And where it was is about 40 minutes away from us. So I got up and got dressed and we headed out to the hospital. I hate driving in the dark and to make it worse, it was really foggy. It was hard to see anything in front of me. It was a horrible drive. So yeah, I took her up there. I sat in the car while Abby went in because you have to go in yourself with COVID and everything. 
and she wasn't too long actually, she was out within about 20 minutes and the doctor had given her tablets to dissolve on her tongue and told her to phone the dentist today. He doesn't think that it's a, an infection related to her piercing, which is good. So she, her dentist apparently, according to their website, opens at half past eight. It's about 20 to nine just now, but it's still just a, wet, a message on the answer machine saying... Sorry, we're closed, so she's going to try again at nine. But she was meant to be working today. She's just not able. She's really not well. She can hardly speak. She can't eat. Um, she got very little sleep. It's a shame. So, yes, by the time we got in last night, it was quarter to one, well, this morning. And then I had to make sure the elves were behaving themselves and, you know, helping them with their games night. So it was about half past one before I got to my bed. And that explains why I'm looking so tired. Anyway, other than that, we're all good. You will have seen this morning that Brooke went to school. A lot of you agree with me that I should keep her off. So thank you for that. I still think that we should keep her off, but Brooke was having none of it. She was insisting she wanted to go to school. She was getting really upset. And with everything else that's going on just now, I thought, you know what? It's really not worth it. I'll let her go to school. But I did explain the consequences to her. I said, if you get track and traced, if somebody in your class gets COVID, you will be isolating over Christmas. You'll miss your Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Eve Eve day out. You won't be able to see your friends through the holidays. And she said, I know. So she still wanted to go. So I thought, fair enough. I don't, it's, it's not really a very good life lesson teaching her that it's best to stay off when you should, when you actually want to go. So I've let her go, but I'm going to play it by ear. I'm going to take it day by day. And if I do think it's getting too risky, then I will just tell her, no, you're not going. So thank you for everybody who gave me your advice regarding that. The, in the social work meeting yesterday, they asked me to phone my GP today to talk to them to see if he can help with any counselling and things like that. So I phoned them this morning. I'm waiting for him to phone me back. Today, I am just going to be wrapping again. Still got lots and lots of wrapping to do. Right, I better do the Christmas music quiz because Brooke wouldn't do it this morning because it's a crazy Christmas karaoke. So what I want from you in the comments below is the missing lyrics from this song. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear <laughs> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Okay, so the bits that I hum or the blanks you fill in. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear Deck the house with boughs of holly Rocking around the Christmas tree It's a really upbeat song, I do like it So it's the missing lyrics that we're looking for today, please Right, I am going to get on with wrapping And I will come back to you when it's time to try the hot chocolate And I'll let you know throughout the day If we hear anything about Abby or Brooke See you soon Right, it's hot chocolate time. I just thought I would let you know that I've still not heard from the doctor, but Abby did get through to the dentist who said they've got no emergency appointments today, but they will phone her back if they can squeeze her in. If not, she's to phone again tomorrow. The poor girl's in agony. She can't eat. She can't sleep. <sighs> I really hope that they do phone her back. If not, I might just get her to phone NHS 24 again tonight because the dental side never phoned her back last night. The GP obviously did. But the dental side didn't, so if she gets nowhere, I think I might just get her to phone them again tonight and say, look, I tried to get an emergency appointment, I couldn't get one, I need to see, and we'll see what they say. Anyway, I'm going to have a hot chocolate, let's see what I'm going to have today. I think I'm going to go for the carrot cake flavour out of this, I've got no idea what it'll be like. It might be disgusting, but I quite like the sound of it, so let's give it a try. I have to say it smells a bit funky. <laughs> It smells a bit like washing that's been sitting in the washing machine too long, you know, that way that is wet and you've not taken it out and it goes that kind of musty way. Don't know. We'll give it a try. It's okay. I don't think it really tastes like carrot cake. It's got an orangey flavour to it. It tastes better than it smells, but definitely not my favourite. I'll drink it. 
probably give it a 7 out of 10. Having just finished that hot chocolate, I take it back. The aftertaste is horrible. It, the aftertaste is like that musty smell of washing. Really don't like that one. I'll give it a 2 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but I'm very organised with my dinner today. I've got it in the slow cooker. Basically, I got some um, meatballs out of Asda and I just chopped some veg, put it in the slow cooker with the meatballs and added a jar of pasta sauce. Dead quick and easy, but at least it means it'll be ready at dinner time when Jack comes in. I'll just need to boil some pasta, which I'll do for the dog's dinner anyway, so I'll just make extra. Oh, right, I'm going to go back to it. I've not actually started wrapping yet because I realised that one of the gifts that I've got for Brooke, um, I'm going to personalise, so I've been working on that. I've printed the designs out, so I'm going to go and um, press it now. Hopefully it will work out well. I don't know because I've never tried printing on the this type of fleecy material before so we'll see what happens if it's a disaster she'll still get it and she'll still wear it it's only for around the house anyway it's a big oversized fleece for keeping her cozy but i thought i would try and put some of our rambo stuff on it for her so we shall see how it works out sorry i was interrupted by the phone that was the dentist phoning back and um, they've got a cancellation so abby's just away next door to get my dad to take her into Helensburg. Thankfully he's there so he can do the running about for me. I meant to say earlier the reason Jack didn't take Abby to the out of hours thing was he'd had a couple of cans of cider watching the football so that's why I had to get woken up to take her. Um, yeah so as I was saying I'm going to try and print that um, fleece and I'll show you what it turns out like. It might be a disaster but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Actually really pleased with how this turned out so I thought I would show you. Basically I had been looking on Amazon and they had the oversized fluffy hoodies for like Minecraft and things but they were about £30 and I thought no. And then I saw a, a deal on Groupon for just plain fluffy hoodies and I think they were about half the price and I thought right I'm just going to get that and attempt to sublimate it myself so I decided I was going to do Minecraft and then I thought no I'm going to try for Rambo so let me show you I thought I'm going to leave the front plain just in case it is a disaster so on the back I'll show you so on the back I put if the crown fits wear it that's the same thing that I put on the wee bracelet thing that she got the other day and this is his sort of crown logo that seems to be his main logo and I'm really pleased see because it's blue I wasn't sure how it would turn out but I'm really pleased the way that the colours have turned out and then I thought I'm going to put a different quote on each sleeve as well I basically just googled Rambo, Rambo quotes and um this was one that came up. The Waffle House is where the president lives. <laughs> okay. So um, I decided to put that just sort of down the, the middle bit of the sleeve so that when she's wearing it, it just goes right down her arm. And on the other side, in the same place on the other side, I put, it's going to be okay no matter what. I love that quote. And I think it's very, very important for Brooke to remember that, for all teens to remember that, actually. So I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. So we've got the image on the back. Um, and a quote on each sleeve so yeah hopefully she's gonna like that fingers crossed right i'm gonna get on with finishing wrapping her right, stuff now. it is quarter past 12 look at the state of the covers on the couch thanks to those dogs and um, it's quarter past 12 i'm just going to get my lunch i finally finished wrapping all of brooks apart from one thing and i need to get a frame for that so i'm going to get that tomorrow um, and then i'll get that wrapped and that'll be brooks done yay one thing that I will say is, I don't know if you remember when I was talking about the works, um, they had sent me an extra copy of one of the books. It was this book, the Harry Potter Puzzle and Quiz Book. So, I have wrapped up one copy. This is a spare copy. I was just going to say, if any of you think that you've got a home for it, if someone that you know would like it, then let me know and I will send it to you gladly. In the UK, please, it would be too expensive for me just now to um, send it abroad. But if anybody in the UK would like it, please let me know and I will send it off to you. Hopefully it would get there to you before Christmas if you're wanting to give it as a Christmas gift. So let me know in the comments below and if you're the first person to ask me for it, I will... Um, get in touch with you and ask you to send me your address so that I can send it on to you. There's no point in it sitting in my house. It's a, a brand new book. Um, if nobody wants it, I'll probably just pop it into the charity shop. But I thought I would ask you lovely people first. 
Hi, I'm going to go get my porridge now and then this afternoon I am going to start on Abby's stuff. She's still at the dentist, I've not heard from her yet, so I'll let you know when she's Abby's back from the dentist. It is a gum infection that she's got, so she's got antibiotics and mouthwash. Okay, Hugo. Uh -huh. What is it? Mini makes present felt kit. Ah, so you have to make your own <laughs> decoration. Cool, that'll give me something to do today. <laughs> ah, no, you're quite right. Do you want something to cheer you up? Yeah, you're going you to tell me about back on our own. Oh, do you? Oh, I've got an email. You've got an email, so between half four and half seven or something? Only you know it's between half six and half seven. What's all the noise? You're such a noisy boy! Hi. You're such a noisy boy! So that'll cheer you up. At least you'll have your new phone to play about with. Oh, Right, the doctor has been on the phone and I had a good chat with him. So he's going to see Brooke later on today. And uh, so as soon as she gets in from school, I have to take her along to see him for a chat. And he will hopefully refer her to Cam's. Um, she has been referred already and they said there was no need to see her which is ridiculous given the circumstances that are going on just now. Um, so the doctor wants to speak to her but thinks that he will end up making a, a referral. So that is where we're at. It's good that something's happening but I don't think Brooke's going to be very pleased. She just she won't talk to anybody. She won't talk to the doctor. It'll just be, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, because that's, that's all the school counsellor's been getting as well. But We'll see how that goes. At least um, it's action that I'm taking. So that's a good thing. Um, so I was going to start wrapping Abby's stuff today, eh, this afternoon, but I don't know. I've got a few other little odds and sods that I need to do. So I might just do that instead and uh, get on with wrapping Abby's stuff tomorrow. I need to get organised for the elves tonight and everything as well. It's non-stop. <laughs> Right, it's three o'clock. I've got quite a lot of bits and pieces done. Nothing major, but little bits that have been bugging me that I knew needed done. Um, so I do feel a bit more organised now, so that is good. And Jack has just reminded me that we need to go and vote today. There's a local election. So after we've been to the doctor, we will go to the borough hall and vote in the local election. It's just to find out who's going to represent us in our area. Um, and then I'll come back. So I'm thinking I might actually have my dinner sort of soonish because it's ready anyway with being in the slow cooker. All I need to do is make the pasta. So I might just do that just now and have my dinner. And that way I'm not going to be starving by the time I come in later on. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. I'm just going to show you what I've just made. It's a little, it's supposed to be a gift card holder, but I'm wanting to just put money in it for someone. So I'm going to turn around and let you see it. So this is my little gift card holder and it's just a little Santa suit and the belt, if you can see, sort of sticks up a wee bit there and I think it's turned out really quite cute. It's not perfect at the back, the, the edges aren't meeting perfect but I think it's okay. So as you can see you can um, just slip a gift card or money in there but I just think that's lovely and then I could put a personal message along the bottom or Merry Christmas or something but I might just leave it like that and that way the person can re-gift it if they want. So yeah I think that's worked out quite nice. I think that's all I'm going to do in my craft room today. I'm going to make my dinner and start editing this vlog, I think, and that will save me doing that later as well. And it's going to be a chilled out night tonight. I'm havering. What am I like? Right, I'm going to head off just now. I will give you an update later on once we've been to the doctors and both eaten things and I'll finish the vlog then. I was just heading off to my bed just now and I realised I hadn't finished the vlog. Things got very hectic um after i last spoke to you i made dinner got all sorted had dinner it was all great just getting organized to get in the car to take brooke to the doctors and the social worker turned up i was like no so that was it everything was running late after that and i was stressed to the max but we got brooke to the doctors we got to the hall to vote we came home and we've been chilling out watching miracle on 34th street so I'm nice and chilled now, but I am knackered. It's only quarter past eight and I can't keep my eyes open. It was a very late night last night. So, yes, I just wanted to come on and end the vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me the missing lyrics in the 
comments below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18. Thanks everyone, bye! Ho, 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 ho!